name's Peter Wright. I'm the Vehicle Engineering Manager at Land Rover for Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. So I'm really proud to be here presenting the Range Rover Sport and uh, Range Rover Diesel to you today. Our new entry into North America that expands the model line up even more with new levels of efficiency and refinement, the 3 litre TD6 diesel. I'm really excited to be here to present the enhanced Land Rover TD6 engine to you. It powers the first ever diesel in Range Rover and Range Rover Sport models to be sold in North America. And I've been involved in the development of the vehicle from the very beginning. And as many of you know, because I've taught you, I've also got a career before that in diesel engines. So it's great to be here in America presenting a diesel. I'll talk about why we decided to launch a diesel and the technologies we've used to achieve the performance and refinement Range Rover customers have come to expect, while simultaneously meeting demanding US emission standards. I'll also talk about how we tested the engine extensively for US customers and tailored and changed that to meet the demands of those US motorists. So, before we get into the technology that underpins the TD6 Range Rover, we should also take a quick look at the current automotive landscape for us. Land Rover is going from strength to strength in North America, and last year we achieved our best four-year sales figures of over 51,000 units. I'm pleased to say Range Rover and Range Rover Sport spearheaded that drive. Range Rover Sport increased by 12%, while Range Rover saw a 5% increase during the year. We expect to see an even larger increase this year. In fact, through to November 2015, Land Rover is at an all-time high in the US, with over 62,000 sales. That's up 36% on 2014, and it's the fastest growing luxury SUV brand this year. Most of this growth was all based, however, on the existing choice of just two gasoline engines, the 340 horsepower, 3 litre V6 supercharged, and the 510, 5 litre V8 supercharged. These two engines that deliver excellent performance and refinement, synonymous with Range Rover. As we look to consolidate our success and grow the market share in North America, we're adding our globally proven TD6 diesel engine to the lineup. Not only does this broaden the Range Rover portfolio, but it gives us another significant selling point against our competitors like Mercedes GL350, Audi Q7, Infiniti QX80, and Lexus 570. All while providing US customers with increased fuel economy over both the V6 and V8 gasoline variants, as well as towing and torque performance that Range Rover is renowned for. So despite the news of the day, the long-term outlook in the US seems quite favourable towards offering diesel powertrain vehicles for the first time. And with good reason for us, globally, more than 50% of total sales come from diesel powertrain. In Europe, that figure rises to 90%. Here in the US, in modern times, diesel passenger car vehicles are still, however, relatively new. Diesel penetration in luxury SUV, however, in the US in 2014 was about 4.6. Over the six years, we've seen a rapid growth in the uptake of diesel models amongst SUV buyers, with sales of diesel luxury SUVs increasing by 26% since 2009. For luxury SUVs that offer the choice of diesel or gasoline, there is a 15 to 20% take up on the diesel option. This is what we anticipate our sales to be as well, around that figure, 15 to 20%. The driving force on the consumer level are simply the driving characteristics of these powerful engines and the impact on the total cost of ownership driven by the efficiency of the power unit. From a daily driving perspective, where the TD6 engine truly impresses is the low range torque that's on offer. With 440 pound feet, available from only 1750 RPM. Our new diesel is pretty fun around town, as you have found out yesterday, but it's perfectly suited as well to the off-road driving and towing, more of which you'll find on the off-road today, where the ability to pull from low revs with no fuss comes into its own. To put that figure in perspective, the TD6 produces almost as much torque as our flagship V8 model, and it allows it to tow up to 7,716 pounds. Of course, on top of the performance, the enhanced fuel economy figures really stand out. Compared to the V6 gasoline, the TD6 is capable of combined fuel economy of 25 miles per gallon, a 32% increase over the V6 gasoline. This improvement in fuel economy in the TD6 engine equates to a significant total cost of ownership saving over the lifetime of the vehicle. 
to do a few caps based on covering 1,200 miles a year at 25 miles per gallon. We expect to see an average fuel saving of more than $450 over the V6 gas, over $800 over the V8 gas. This is helped by the fact that in many parts of the US, diesel is now cheaper than premium gasoline, both of which the gasoline V6 and V8 require. Another key component of the total cost of ownership is the premium over V6 gasoline for this model being just $1,500. I think we're giving away, that's the marketing guys. <laughs> While being affordable on face value, this figure is also important to the strong residual values for the new diesel compared to the gasoline model. In addition to already class leading residuals for Range Rover and Range Rover Sport, diesel variants retain up to 2% percentage points better over their gasoline counterparts, helping to lower monthly lease payments and increase the resale value. The TD6 have been designed to deliver the Land Rover characteristics of refinement, robustness and performance using the following key features. This begins with a cylinder block, which is constructed of CGI, which in our world is compacted graphite iron. This provides for a number of advantages. Firstly, it's a higher tensile strength than standard grey iron. Secondly, it's a better fatigue strength than aluminium, meaning all of this is going to last longer. It's got some added stiffness in there to aid refinement as well. As well as the strength advantages that the material brings, it's also lighter, which builds an engine which is much more compact in size and helps to keep the overall weight of the vehicle down, a virtuous circle for fuel economy. Some of the other technologies used, such as two-stage oil pumps, reduce emissions, while like the low friction vacuum pump and the water pump that automatically switches off until the power unit has warmed up, specifically target reduced CO2 output. Now we're going to talk about NOx emissions. Right, so this is a diesel. We're in North America. The 200 pound gorilla has just come in for breakfast. So let's get him out of here. We're going to get one thing straight, straight away. So let's get something addressed. Jaguar Land Rover does not use any emissions defeat devices or emissions defeat software. One of the reasons I really, really wanted to be here today is that talking to people over the summer and since the, the VW thing broke, I recognise that a lost, lot of trust has been lost in the industry because of the events that necessitated that statement. So my purpose in being here today is to talk, not just to talk about the great diesel product, but I want to be open about the ways that we produced it, and also about our compliance and control systems as far as I can with you to try and help us restore some of that trust. So having said all that, let's get back to the technical. As you can see from the diagram on the screen now, we've adopted a range of measures to ensure TD6 meets EPA and carbon emission standards, but I want to go through, through several specific issues in detail. The first key feature in achieving the desired efficiency is to employ a new low pressure EGR recirculation system. Traditional exhaust gas recirculation systems take exhaust gas from the manifold before the turbo where the temperature is high and under significant pressure. It feeds them then directly back into the combustion cycle. Our system takes the gases at low pressure. It's after the DPF filter, the particular filter, and it feeds them back into the turbocharged inlet from there. They then pass through an intercooler that results in lower peak combustion temperatures. So, there's an engineer rattling on here, why does all of that matter? It really matters because higher combustion temperatures that really generate the efficiency of diesel can work against you by producing more nitrous oxide emissions. So if you can lower those, those temperatures during the combustion, then you can get lower NOx numbers. So we're feeding in lower temperature gas and it's a virtuous circle again. It also helps improve fuel economy by 2% during the cycle. Another significant advantage of the lower pressure EGR system is better transient performance across the rev range. Because we're taking the exhaust gas out, not from the turbo, just before the turbo where you can use the energy, but lower down the system. And it helps mean that turbos spool up quicker because we're not rubbing it with gas. This means our cars are more responsive and more drivable in everyday conditions. That's not the only technology that's been produced on TD6 to help reduce NOx emissions. Alongside the low pressure EGR, we've also introduced a selective catalyst reduction system. This works by intro introducing and injecting diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF as it's called in the market, into the exhaust. It then passes through the SCR, which is a simple flow through copper based catalyst, 
where the NOx is turned into harmless nitrogen gas and also water vapor. Our test demonstrate its effectiveness. Of the remaining gas coming down the pipe, it removes up to 90% of that harmful NOx that would otherwise be emitted. So we've used a combination of these two technologies and it's drastically reduced the harmful NOx and ensured the TD6 engine has been fully compliant with US emissions standards. To ensure this diesel powertrain measures up to the requirements of the US customer, however, we've also carried out extensive evaluation and pre-production testing in the market. We wanted to ensure not only just the performance and economy the drivers expect was there, but also the smoothness and refinement familiar from our gasoline engines was also present. Our research included blind tests of diesel, Range Rover and Range Rover Sport competitive vehicles in three locations across the US. We gathered the information using a variety of methods, from post-drive interviews to online surveys. But there was one key fact came out of this. None of the consumers in any of the three cities correctly identified they were driving a diesel model. And that's an amazing result, but it also shows, I think, how far automotive and diesel technology has come from the smelly, loud diesel engines some of the customers have come to expect. Thank you, GM, in the 1970s. I'm just, just about old enough to remember that, but we know the damage that was done, and I think we've now put that to bed. In fact, the only comment related to initial accelerator response, which is understandable when you consider how many stock lamps you guys have got in the US compared with other global regions. And based on the feedback to this, we went away, improved throttle mapping, improved, improved turbo mapping, and this configuration has then been adopted globally. So once we settled on the configuration of the engine, our engineering team set about testing it across the country, and in a grueling schedule, it ensured the TD6 engine could handle any terrain or climate thrown at it. From sea level, to altitudes of 14,000 feet, from the coldest temperature of minus 25F to up to an incredible plus 122. We've sure the new diesel Range Rover and Range Rover Sports are robust enough to withstand the harshest conditions of North America, from the coldest northeastern winters to the warmest southwestern summers. In fact, by the time the diesel model has reached the first US customers, our test fleet have already covered over 1 million miles in this market. And that's, of course, on top of it being a globally proven engine. Further evidence, if it were needed, of the push to create an engine purpose designed for the US, not just a one-size-fits-all piece of engineering we've just dropped here. The new updated TD6, we believe, is key in expanding the Range Rover sales in the US. Not only for those customers that are looking for a car with greater range, that uses less fuel than the gasoline equivalent, but also that use their vehicles for heavy-duty towing, or that want to take their vehicle off-road. A 32% increase in fuel economy over the gasoline V6 is an impressive figure, with diesel costs nearing parity or level prices in some states. This means greater annual fuel saving and increased mileage for buyers that opt for our diesel vehicle. While efficiency is the priority for the latest diesel engine, performance remains a key feature for a Range Rover TD6, with the latest engine producing 254 horsepower, and strong low-down torque on offer. This allows Range Rover Sport to accelerate 0-60 in 7.1 seconds.